5.22 a.m. About to hit this in the airport. It's early in the morning. It's gonna take seven minutes is what they're saying. We're at TSA and headed to the gate. So they only make sake Bloody Mary. Waiting on our delayed plane. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Bulletproof Coffee. People put like butter in their coffee. I put weed butter in mine. I don't really feel it yet. There's a little plane this time, so great news. Open seating in the back. I got my own bro. Basically first class. Motherfucking New Mexico. Let's run up on him. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Do I Live from Albuquerque. Fucking Sheridan. It's a king size bed. It's pretty sweet. Chair, another chair. Views from the Sheridan. It's a container store. A quick little check in. Fraternity party. Egg and I for breakfast. Like me and John, we can handle it. Get, get ready. Coming off the motherfucking bus. Our merch guy, he missed his flights. So I'm handling it. It's Trucker Earn out here. A little road case right here. Let's see what's up. Person junk, another person treasure. Oh, totally. If you take the time, you can sell almost anything. A lot of shit. I'm in sure. The trash. sure. I mean, you know. I What's the really... coolest thing you ever found um, in the trash? Back machine, Xbox. You found an Xbox. Motherfuckers in a little bit. Oh, I went and saw Bohemian Rhapsody last night. Some shit just wasn't accurate, and I didn't know it wasn't accurate, but when it happened, I went, there's no way that happened that way. And then when you look it up, it didn't happen that way. That part I think is weird. So I'm about to head out of here. I went somewhere in Denver and get this uh, Mecha Godzilla scanned in. I'm gonna be dropping a few things with this on it, but the main thing I'm trying to do is the print. Norm this print is huge, so in order to get this done correctly, we gotta go find someone who can print with the good capability, like an actual Z clay. It is Z clay. You'll probably see it as geek clay, ye clay, we clay, but Z clay. It's the closest way to reproduce an original without making pulling an original print and an original print is considered an original. I know, it's confusing as fuck. Um, so all the time I get asked, you know, oh, what art supplies do you use, Ted? Should I, should I get art supplies? Should I get an iPad? You kind of need both, I think. This is why. Like I said the other day, I like tangible items. You kind of need to be able to use your hands and paint and pigments, and things like this to make that happen. iPad. iPad, you sort of just do, oh, tattoo schedule iPad, you sort of just drag and drop whatever colors you want, you know? It's like, oh, I want this all to be black now. Boom, it's all black. Hey, I want this earth to be black. It's all black. Over here, we have version after version after version. You know? Like, this is the original Astro World, by the way. Uh, yeah, all this reference for Houston. Ooh, all this on paper, and then it gets transferred over to here. What it has taken to make this happen this weekend. This room was clean. These are all drawings and sketches. You don't even have to do all this if you have the iPad. You know, you don't have to buy all these markers. You don't have to buy all this paint. You buy what you need to make your final product. So um, it has its pros and cons. I say if you're limited in funds and you don't have a lot of money to be going to the art store all the time and you're just trying to sketch and doodle other theories and work out ideas, the iPad is like well worth the money. I'm segueing into this is because there's a new iPad out and a couple weeks ago I said I might be done with Apple but fuckers always find a way. Probably gonna sell this one. It really isn't worth that much in comparison. That the iPad is awesome for art. I think it's great. Things like color studies and shit like that, like trying to figure out what I'm gonna do as the final product, iPad, for sure. I mean, look at all the fucking trees that I'm gonna save. You know what I'm saying? At least one. At least one. <laughs> what are we gonna do about what? <laughs> Hold on. What are you talking about? Make it a little thinner, it's just too thick. Don't believe the hype. Houston, the wave, and the multi-logo. Huh? For the, um, for the most high. The most high Allah. What? <laughs> oh, the multi. I thought you said I'm the most high. The most high Allah. What's that? What's that lyric? <laughs> for the multi. Let's see. Let's think for a second. That mob green that's in that air bubble or whatever. The fucking non air bubble. By the way, dog, this Nike SB shit has me tight. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it's just so fucking silly, like, that they're manufacturing this hype right now. Like, I really, in real life, have not heard anyone be like, Yo, if SBs could just fucking make a comeback, dog, my life would be complete. I don't understand how the, cli how the climate gets shit, like, alright, like, oh, 
diamond dropped. They had a very popular Nike SB before, so here's another SB. And I don't think they ever planned on releasing it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. But the real thing is no one's even bringing attention to the fact that all the complex kind of releases are just whack. There's nothing that dropped there that you're just like, oh, God. Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't feel and, like. And everything they drop, it eventually comes out. Right? Usually, yeah. I don't know about those NERDs or anything, but I don't know. This is weird. The SB thing like, is weird. Uh, yeah, Godzilla Black. This is gonna be the hard part because we, we'll need the hoodie, we'll need the hoodie mocks anyway for the lookbook. So, I will. I gotta run down fucking across town to go do this shit. Also, just order that iPad, bitch. Order it. Yes, son. <laughs> you made me fucking order it, you dick. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't do, you can't do, you have to be able to do both. You can't, I mean, you don't have to, but. I mean, imagine my room with just five, what am I gonna do, just print shit out of my iPad and hang it on the wall? I enjoy this chaos. I love this chaos. <laughs> you don't understand, this is what keeps me going. But I mean, Alice got into a deep conversation yesterday, you know, doing her craft thing. She has her own Etsy and sells like little crafts that she makes. Looking at other people's stuff who are, you know, quote unquote, like big, big time people and they'll talk about their stuff and be like, oh, you know, this part right here is messed up, but you can just keep working. It's crazy. Even like people who are really good at shit are unsatisfied. I was like, ha, ah. like if I ever was satisfied, I'd fucking die. Satisfied for like 0.2 seconds. And I'm like, oh, this is terrible. You know, like this Godzilla painting, I almost ripped in half the other day. That <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> would have been funny. And I was like, no, this is, this is, irres this is irresponsible. <laughs> this, is an ir this is not a good message to send to the world. <laughs> Wow, what is it? I'll get her. Friends here. The, the car needs gas. Uh, okay, I'll go fill it up. <coughs> yeah, thanks for telling me because I would not have checked. Far long enough to remember, you gotta check the gas gauges. Yeah, I'm taking that. Alright, we're out here, son. Let's fucking go. Oh, let's get the fucking painting of the trickster. Because I'm out here, you go downstairs. Yeah, you would have been upstairs. Alex, Omar's down there, right? Uh, no. Really? Omar! Where are you? You didn't follow me outside when I'm out the front, right? What? He's downstairs. Thanks for the fucking mini heart attack. Let's hope there's a gas station up here. Not that chill. What the fuck? School dog just cut me off. No big deal. No big fucking deal, homie. Wait, do you have to have a Costco card to fucking get gas? Costco? Is that a real thing? Let's go sign up for a Costco card so I don't run out of gas. Dog, I don't even know where the fuck we are now. We don't have that far to go. Not where we're going. It's gotta be gas close as it fucking seven miles away. This is ridiculous. I should have just turned right on Broadway. Instead, my dumbass decided to drive all the fuck around over here. I'm gonna run out of gas in the middle of fucking nowhere. This is stupid. This is so fucking stupid. I would be yelling at her or Alex since this was happening and I was in the passenger seat. <sighs> we are definitely very fucking close. Not chill. We got a mile. If we can make it a mile, we'll fucking make it. Is there any way to pay for a rush on anything like that? Yeah, um, a same day rush would be pretty extensive, um, just to be honest. Like, is he clay printing here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm probably going to end up doing the printing as well. Kind of need the scan to move to somewhere else because I have to get printing done for like garments. This is the dilemma. I wanted to include the Godzilla in the first AI drop. AI, I have so much AI stuff right now, like bonkers to drop, and the lookbook's coming out today. I have to make all the final choices, and I don't know what to choose. <laughs> also need to find a local embroiderer. I have a local guy, but he's really old and slow. Ugh, no, that's all over with. I've been talking a lot of shit, <laughs> as usual. You know, making jokes about ComplexCon and all the shit that's going on at ComplexCon, like the fight and the fucking lines for the shoes that we know are gonna release online. And I'm not so certain that the Nike SB hype isn't manufactured and fake. You know, 
create hype for SB because literally nobody nobody gave a fuck until last month, I guess. Travis Scott got, got in his bag and now everybody all of a sudden cares. It's a weird place to be in for me personally. I mean, I'm not buying SB again. And to be honest, I feel like Diamond and all these people who everybody holds as the fucking holy grail of streetwear have had their time been done. It's been gone. How long are we going to rock these same Tiffany? Like, I know it's not the same colorways, but it just doesn't, it's not doing it for me. But anyway, that's not even the point of this. I'm going to SB right now. See what they do. By the way, if they don't fucking release them only in skate shops, only in specialty skate shops that are struggling to keep their doors open because, you know, the price of skateboards ain't gone up in 20 fucking years and that's a l2 nike because nike's decided now it's time to retro the sb <laughs> oh this is so stupid they better be in skate shops or it's a l i talk a lot of shit about complex but it's really just pointing out that they're hypocrites complex con existing with fights canceled releases and 40 dollar cheeseburgers corporate money all that shit kind of goes against articles that are written by the editorial staff. Last year we got articles from Angel Ramirez, whatever the fuck, I think that's his name, talking about how white people essentially have gentrified sneakers. Meanwhile, my man works for the same people that are putting on a fucking convention. I mean, are we not gonna, are, are we not gonna call that a gentrification of the culture? Then you got Matt Welty. Matt Welty, I've been going out a little bit and people who keep asking why I haven't been on Full Size Run or Full Size Run again, since Matt Welty worked there. Because Matt Welty emailed me, asked me when I could be in New York, pretty much any time, as long as they wanna pay for the flight and accommodations. I'm not coming there to give y'all free entertainment. On a situation that last year, Matt wrote a fucking article talking mad shit about all YouTubers. All y'all did was talk shit about how we were mean, our fans are ridiculous, the fact that we even have fans is ridiculous. And now, my man Matt sharing memes of himself. My man Matt is talking about how much he loves connecting with the fans. My man my mans are out here doing skits. Y'all had to bring Trinidad James on just to get some fucking goddamn clout. There's been no formal like, yo, we were out of pocket. Like y'all seem to be enjoying this ride, right? Right? Well, it took corporate money to get y'all there. Y'all y'all didn't curate your own shit. All these YouTubers you made fun of, Kai, Tony, whoever the fuck, I feel like you owe an apology. You know, more than anything, Complex has all these people coming on full size run and y'all got conventions going on. Y'all got all this shit y'all are doing. Where is the fucking, where's the accountability? <laughs> Say all this dumb shit. Y'all Snapchat used to be on some wild dumb shit. I don't understand. Shit don't make no sense to me. What up? Hey. Oh, shipping. Come on, the order. Oh my God. Hello. What's up, Etsy goddess? Etsy goddess. Hey, get on. Yeah, it looks like you're going a little crazy. We haven't even shown the vlog the chain stitch machine yet. We haven't had any time. I know. They don't even know what we're up to down here. I can use this. Mm -hmm. had a, like an outline to follow. You did better at my name than I did. Well, I can't, it's like I can't, uh, you'd have to disconnect it to the other side though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> made fun of, oh, I made fun of everyone in the world. Yeah. For, what's it called? Blue apron. Blue apron. Gets these ones that she made one the other night and I was in here and I was like, Alex is making me dinner. This shit smells good as fuck. By eating a plate and I was like, wait, what's that? Because it smelled like meat. And I was like, she's not making it for herself. Not that I've been eating keto, but these are all keto. Got Southern barbecue steaks and Malaysian. Yeah, good. The only thing was like, we got sick of having to cook. Yeah. We got some free ice for our little bag and shit. Nice. We're getting the drop together, me and scruff there's a couple of issues because printing these prints so i've done prints in the past and we've done a really nice paper nice printers i've done all these things this is completely different this is a z what's called a z, z clay z clay i don't fucking know how i don't know dog but anyway they're having to take that shit photograph it from a million and a half angles. Completely reconstruct it digitally. No, I'm just kidding. But they do have to like photograph it, color correct it, and I paid to have a rush done on it and it's still gonna take a couple of days. There's a couple of delays trying to get everything situated 
and sending off the Houston stuff and sending off all the friends and family shit and getting everything out. Uh, all of our orders from this weekend, we had to drop this weekend on You Are Your Enemy hoodie. Pretty much all sold out. There's a couple of hoodies left. Yeah, there's a couple of hoodies left. There's like maybe 12, I don't know. 12 or 13 tan hoodies between tan and black. A few shirts left. Friends and family really helps me manage all this. So shout out to y'all motherfuckers for real. Because before this, everything would sell out for the most part. And then it's, hey, when's a restock? When's a restock? When's a restock? This way, I feel like I've been able to serve everyone. Friends and family have been just like godsend. You guys are amazing. I love you. You know I'm gonna do so many special things for you coming up. Like I said, last week, all weekend I've been working towards new shit. We got pants coming so soon. New garments coming, uh, subpoena and not subpoena garments. Hats that are gonna be manufactured real soon. Yeah, we're just like cooking. Like I feel feel as if I've a spark has been litten, litten, litten inside me, dog. Yo, it's litten. Yeah, it's sick. We got a lot of shit coming. Yeah, a lot of changes. But don't worry, I'm gonna keep y'all informed. Any sizing changes or garment changes. This is also a new sample, which is super nice and dope. Lots of shit, man. I've been working. I'm working. So Diamond just tweeted this, and I'm interested in buying them, but I definitely want to see what it's all about. What's up? This is Nick Diamond from Diamond Supply Co. The Nike SB Diamond Dunk will be releasing this Thursday, number 8th, one day only, at 708 South Hill Street in downtown LA, 5 p.m., first come, first serve. So tell your friends, and we'll see you in the Diamond District. Yep. This is going to be a riot. <laughs> A tip of the hat to the yesteryear, which actually I know that there's a lot of SB heads out there who have been diehard SB fans from start to finish, who never left, who never like got jaded on it. For those people, I'm sure y'all are fucking psyched on all this. I'm sure y'all wish they could get the shoe real easy and that people wouldn't act like they care. I just don't want them to pimp the shit out again. Tip of the hat to the era, cool, 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 whatever. It's just more of the same shit. That's just my beef. I mean, that's been my beef the whole time with Nike's more of the same. And I didn't like the Tiffany's the first fucking time they released, to be honest. Before I get completely flamed, I definitely know that there are a lot of diehard SB fans. And uh, rest in peace to Sandy Bodecker as well. So weird timing, I feel. He just passed away and now SB's back. I don't know if it was already planned or what, but kind of weird. Uh, 8.30, I'm still editing, still working on the lookbook. Scruff is uploading things as we speak. That's the day. I ate this stuff. I have no idea what it is. It's like cheese and some other shit. I don't know. Alex made it from one of those box meals, but I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>